This video is going to be all about the ductwork that you need when you're installing a system, whether you're getting rebates through the VEU scheme, you're installing a fresh system, or you're replacing an old one, uh, this video is going to help you. So to start off with, we're going to be talking about the different duct sizes that you can have. Then we're going to be talking about sheet metal versus flexi duct, and then we're going to be talking about fireproofing. So the first thing to understand is there's different types of insulation that are available. You have 0 0.6, 1, and 1 1.5. You can also get up to 2. And you can even get more than that, but in residential purposes, you don't need to go that heavy. Um, but the VEU, so the Victorian government actually, not the VEU, requires that you have one R1.5 insulated ducts um, pretty recently. So if you're replacing your current system, you're replacing your ducts or installing a new one, you need to have, in most cases, larger ducts. So 0 0.6 duct is used mainly for ducted gas, and these are mainly systems that are 15 to 20 years old. And the difference between 0 0.6 and 1.5 looks like this. So if you look at 1.5 over here, uh, you can see there's a lot more insulation around it versus 0 0.6, there's a lot less insulation. So the reason 1.5 is better is because it is more energy efficient, it will save you money, and it also will um, get your room heated or cooled much more quickly. The reason being, there's less heat or cold loss. Um, so 0 0.6 duct, this is the thinnest option. It's also the cheapest, um, but in most cases for new installs, you won't be able to get it. R1 is more common for add-on cooling or air conditioners. And R1.5, this is the new standard. Um, this is the most energy efficient standard, and this is the best thing for your home. The only real difference between installing these ducts is um, the less uh, insulated ducts are easier to maneuver, but since it's flexi duct, it's not going to be that hard to begin with. So the next conversation is sheet metal versus flexi duct. So I was just in America at a HVAC conference, and everyone over there does sheet metal. So installations in America can be $40,000 um, just because all of the ducting they're using is sheet metal. And there's a couple of, advan of advantages to sheet metal, but it's also way more expensive. So I'd, re I'd recommend that you just go FlexiDuct. And in fact, in Australia, it's not even really an option. So sheet metal ducts, they're made from galvanized steel or aluminium. They're extremely durable and long lasting, and they're much less flexible, obviously. And everything is custom made. It's very uh, rare to have in residential places in Victoria, in, in Australia, actually, and uh, it's more of a commercial thing. So if you go to a commercial gym or a supermarket, they will have sheet metal duct. Flexi duct is a, it's made from a flexible plastic tube, which is covered with aluminium. It's much easier to install because it's much more flexible. Um, the problem with flexi duct though, is that because uh, it is flexible, it is more prone to air leaks and sagging, especially if it's not properly installed. This is why you need to make sure you're getting, your system is getting installed by someone who actually knows what they're doing. And at gridless.com.au, that's how we can help you. If you are looking for an installer who knows what they're doing, we vet all of our installers. Just visit gridless.com.au and we can help you get the best competitive price for your system with a great warranty too. Um, the other uh, disadvantage of FlexiDuct is it lasts less than sheet metal ducts do. The final thing to consider is fireproofing. Now, in most cases, this will be marginally more expensive, but it's worth it for the peace of mind. And in some areas, fire rated ductwork is actually required. So guys, that's the video. Very simple, just about the ductwork. You should be going for R1.5. If any company is um, offering to install uh, a system without replacing your ducts and you have 0 0.6 or 1, I'd be highly suspicious. You do need to upgrade your ducts and you should do it anyway because of the efficiency uh, of the system and the better comfort of the system. It's going to heat and cool much more quickly if you have good insulation. Guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Bye.